Okay, so I'm in the middle of the Bahamas right now. Just walking around an island and enjoying the beauty and contemplating my own life and where do I want to go right now. And let me just tell you how I'm going to be dedicated to providing impact to people like you or anybody that wants to pay attention. There's a thing called legacy that I've been hearing about for forever, right? That word, what does it really mean? What does it mean to actually create a legacy? It seems like a little cliche, right? right? But the definition of a word legacy, of the word itself, if you Google it, it's passing something down generations. It's the transferring of wealth into a new group of people, into a new generation. It's literally transferring of wealth or something of value. So for me, creating a legacy really, it's about taking your power and your ability to help others and creating an impact in this life that once your body is done and it doesn't work anymore, you keep on helping people way beyond that body. And that for me is legacy. Now, before I actually really understood what that word meant, I was able to help my father build a legacy and impact the lives of millions of people and do this endlessly for over 2,500 videos and create massive impact across, across the world of the internet. Not until he actually passed and we lost him, I was able to realize what legacy really is all about. So still today, 2022, as at, the time of, as at the time of this recording, as I'm enjoying this incredible, peaceful time with my wife, with my friend and partner, Big Tipness, with a lot of amazing people in that beautiful yacht over there, I really now get to understand what that legacy is all about. I am still, via my father's content and information, impacting the lives of millions of people every single day. And that's true legacy. So as I talk to people, I am realizing that a lot of people want to build a legacy, but don't quite understand how to get there. And that is my obsession now. I want to show you how to build your own legacy that you can pass on down to generations so you can really create generational wealth. So this video is all about helping you understand the process of building a legacy. So if I had to put this in steps as to how do I go about implementing this exact process of building a legacy that even if my body fails one day, there's going to be continuity of my superpower, of my value, and what I can do for the world. Step number one is having a superpower. What does that mean by, what, what do I mean by that exactly? Well, what is the thing that you can do every day that is gonna help people become better in a particular area of their lives? This is applicable to anybody. If you have a business of any kind, whether you are selling makeup or you're delivering services or you're an accountant or you have a beauty brand and you have a makeup and uh, or you have a uh, construction company, there's something that you do that provides value to an audience, to a prospect, to a client, and you make that person better in some way, shape, or form. That is your superpower. That usually goes together with information that's gonna make somebody else better, information that's gonna help you impact the lives of people. And that's basically what you should be doing in the subject of developing a superpower is just finding that thing that's going to help you impact the lives of people even more just show you guys this this place is beautiful it's very inspiring that's why i'm pulling out my gopro and recording this content over here for you guys once you got that superpower the next step on that journey is understanding what the opportunities are in this particular environment to get that superpower in front of as many people as possible well that opportunity changes all the time i can tell you right now at the time of this recording this opportunity exists in the social media environment not only does it does it exist in the social media environment it exists in certain placements exact placements of the social media platforms. For example, there's something called Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, short form, long form content, short form vertical content that are anywhere from 15 seconds in length to maybe in some platforms up to several minutes in length. These ones are the attention grabbing opportunities right now. And as you know, the name of my company is Attention Grabbing Media. My obsession is capturing attention at scale. Because when you have attention, you can get your products and services in front of more people. 
when you can get your products in front of more people you can sell more of those products it's simply common sense not rocket science that's why i named my company attention grabbing media because i want everybody to understand that you need to have a strategy to help you capture attention and when you do so you can win the game of business that's what i've done over the years we actually had my father create content for a long time and by doing so via his superpower he was able to impact the lives of millions of people and by impacting the lives of millions of people those people that were seeing our content distributed across social media believed in our company believed in our brand and we never had to turn my father into a salesman because people wanted whatever this individual had to offer and they would always always continuously connect the dots and know that our company natural slim was actually the company founded by mr frank suarez our founder and our content creator. So people will find you. So once you find the social media opportunities in today's environment, you spread your message and you spread it consistently and obsessively. And when you do that, without paying attention to the metrics, the vanity metrics, the likes, the, the followers, the engagement and the views and whatever, you keep on doing it if you are providing value. And if you're doing it in a sincere way, I promise you, at some point you will succeed. There is no such thing as failure. There's only the people that give up because they did not have the patience to keep on pushing through. There is the X factor of your ability to produce content and your ability to communicate. Some people take off really fast because they have a great ability to communicate. Some people take longer, but all of you, if you believe in your ability to spread a message, you will be able to get the attention that you need to grow your business. Look at me. Obviously, I don't have millions of followers across social media, but you know what I do have? I have two companies that produce over $50 million in revenue every year. I have a company called AGM, Mar the AGM Marketing Company, Attention Grabbing. It's a two times Inc. 5000 company that has been expanding at incredible speeds, helping a lot of people with hundreds of employees, and we're really good at what we do. And we are all built on this exact same content formula. Then my father traveled that I'm traveling myself and a lot of my clients travel like Dr. Eric Berg has been traveling for many years, which is provide that superpower to the world in an obsessive way and in a selfish way. And by doing so, do it in social media obsessively in as many places as possible, as many times as possible. And if you do so, you're gonna build audiences of people. And now you can softly present to these people the information that you have that's going to make them better in some way shape or form but you cannot try to skip the line you cannot try to get to the front of the line and try to get these people on social media to buy your products and services without having them see what you're all about that's not the social media world that's not the world we live in today that is old school marketing that's not the marketing environment right now so if you're serious about growing your business if you're serious about not only growing your business we're building a legacy that goes beyond your body you got to go down that road all right find your superpower once you know that's what you're going to do to the world and that's the value that you can provide obsessively communicate that superpower to the world as you do this make sure you're building your offers so you have enough products and services to sell to the world as you get massive amounts of attention and then along the way build a team of people that are going to be responsible for presenting these offers to the world introducing them to what you can do to take the next level with with them so they can actually get your help as they are looking to resolve their problems they get that they came to you to resolve people have problems people are looking to get products to solve the problems that they have your job is to get in front of them it is a responsibility that you have to put yourself in front of as many people as possible in these incredible platforms that our ancestors never had access to so you got to use them take advantage of them leverage them and if you do so you can win the game of business and not only that you're going to build a legacy because in the world that we live in today we have an opportunity that the people in the back the ancestors never had which is the ability to have your great grandkids understand exactly who you were just by watching some youtube videos and getting some of that content consumed so now you can actually get in front of as many people as possible and have these people keep on seeing your content for generations to come that is legacy it is staying behind through generations so other people can keep on benefiting from your information and from your superpower for years to come all right checking out here from the bahamas hope that everybody's having a great day 
I'm having a good one. I'm inspired. I'm looking to take my information and my value to the next level. And I want to know from you, how can I help you travel the similar journey? Just 10 years ago, I was broke. I didn't have anything to my name. I had a beautiful family that depended on me, but I didn't know exactly how I was going to help them. And I figured it out because I obsess over finding a superpower for myself, getting a passion and diving into that passion and becoming really good at it. And in this world of information, we have an incredible wealth of information out there that we can acquire. And your mind is not like a, it's not like a trash can that has a limit. Your mind, you can keep on dumping information into it endlessly. And that information is yours to implement and see results with it. All right? Check it out. See you on the next video. Talk soon. Love you guys.